This right here is probably one of the most underrated note-taking apps for Android. This app allows you to literally move its toolbar wherever you want, switch screen multitask between multiple notes, record voice notes, and to top it all, it has a super smooth writing feel. And yet, most people have never heard about it. Plus, there is a feature at the end that even I couldn't believe when I first saw it. Trust me, you wouldn't want to miss that. My name is Prithviraj and let's dive right in. I've been testing out different note-taking apps for the past couple of years and I thought I've seen everything. But then I discovered Star Note and it completely shattered my expectations. Also, I'll be doing a giveaway of the pro version of Star Note, so more details about that will come at the end. It has a very clean and minimal UI and everything is laid out right in front of you. Every single tool is accessible from the top toolbar right here and we can even record voice notes on the fly. This can be super useful in case you wanted to record any explanation or stuff like that. But before we dive into its advanced features, let's start with the basics. And that's the actual writing experience. The moment you put your stylus on the screen in Star Note, you immediately notice the difference. The latency is incredibly low. There's almost no delay between your pen movement and the ink appearing on your screen. But it's not just about the speed, it's about the entire tactile experience. The strokes will feel super natural with smoother flow. By the way, I'm currently using it with my Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus and the S Pen makes it feel even better. And as you might have guessed it, you won't really be facing any issues with the palm rejection aspect as well. As in, it won't be making those weird dots and lines because of your palm touching on the screen. We even have this toggle in the settings that you can enable in order to turn on or turn off the palm rejection. Now I can rest my entire hand on the screen while writing and it never interferes with my notes. I would like to talk about the toolbar for a moment, which sounds pretty boring but it's actually revolutionary. Every notes app out there puts the toolbar in one place, it's usually the top or the side and that's where it stays. You have to adapt based on the app, but what if the app adapted for you instead? In Star Note, you can simply drag the entire toolbar anywhere on your screen. On the left side if you're right handed and want easy thumb access, right side if you're left handed and don't want to reach across your work. The pen option segment is another area where Star Note starts to show its serious side. Firstly, we can choose from different pens like fountain pen, calligraphy pen and ball pen. We can even adjust the pressure sensitivity manually from this toggle right here. Pen angle responses means your stylus behaves differently based on how you hold it, just like a real pen or pencil would. We can of course change the basic pen settings like the thickness and the color of your pen. And you can even import custom fonts in case you wanted to decorate your notes further. And among the other items in the toolbar, we have a ruler tool so in case you needed to measure something or draw straight lines with it, there it is. You can add photos to your notes, well that's pretty basic. But not only that, you can even add different stickers to customize your notes further. The sticky notes one has been the most helpful for me. I can simply note down something here and that can be useful for cross-referencing. The excerpt pen can be a useful tool for quickly extracting something from a book or other documents. The excerpt pen also has more advanced capabilities for creating bi-directional links. These links can connect to distinctive notebooks, enabling us to build connections between our ideas and knowledge. The lasso tool can help you make selections, resize, rotate and rearrange your content. The graph tool lets you create and adjust different shapes so that you don't really have to struggle to draw straight lines and circles. Two of the most exciting tools are the tape tool and the pointer tool. If you're trying to memorize something, you can simply use the tape tool to hide the content in your notes and again simply tap on that to reveal the content. This can be super useful for that. Same goes for the laser pointer tool. You can use that to quick read your PDFs or notes. And speaking of PDFs, you can of course import PDFs into this app and take book notes right inside this app. But there is something at the end of this video that even I couldn't believe when I first discovered that. We are talking about a feature that is specifically reserved for apps costing hundreds of dollars that puts it in the professional design software territory. And Star Note includes that as well. Trust me, you wouldn't want to miss that. And also the giveaway is coming. But before that, let's talk about the page layouts and customization. We can create quick notes in case you wanted to jot down something real quick. And while creating new notes, we can really customize them and make it our own. Also, there is this option by which you'll be able to create a note with infinite canvas. This can be a great tool for brainstorming and project planning as you won't be limited by the page space. We have tons of cover designs to choose from. If you want something minimal, it's there. Want something fancy, it's there as well. Like check out all these true themed covers. If that's something you're into, we have that. And this one is a game changer. You can even add your own photos as the cover of your notebooks. And being very honest, I haven't really come across this feature in any other apps. Cover styles for your notebooks might seem like a small thing, but it's actually brilliant psychology. Having beautiful and personalized covers for your digital notebooks will make you want to use them more. It's the same reason people buy beautiful physical notebooks, even when any notebook would functionally work. Also the page layouts. We have a lot of page templates to choose from. We have the basics of course, like blank, dotted and ruled pages. And not only that, we even have many advanced page layouts for your studies or even planner templates like a to-do list, habit tracker or even a timetable template. Heck, we even have page layouts for sheet music and for football tactics. Man United could definitely 
definitely benefit from this one. This app even lets you adjust the margins. So while working on a note, in case you wanted to extend the page or wanted to get a different background, you can get that done. If you run out of writing space, you can simply expand the page to create more room to write using the margins feature. We can select and apply different templates, for example, Cornell notes, and that will integrate with the original note interface, making it ideal for taking study notes. And speaking of planning and organization, let's talk about that. Starnode has taken a refreshingly balanced approach here. The folder system is clean and logical. You can create different folders to organize your notes. Let's say you are a student, then you can create different folders based on your different subject. And under each folder, you can even create subfolders in order to categorize your different chapters and stuff like that. It never gets confusing or overwhelming. Also, there is a dedicated section called PDFs, so you can navigate there and access all your imported PDFs quickly. What I love is that the folders are very visual. You're not just looking at text labels, but each folder can have its own color, icon, and even custom cover so that your brain processes this information instantly. But the real genius here is the tag system. You can assign multiple tags to any note. Your chemistry notes might have tags for organic chemistry, exam prep, and even lab work, each with its own color and icon. And to top it off, the search functionality actually works. You can search by handwritten text, search by tags, type of content, or even tools that you use. And also, if you're finding this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you could consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll keep bringing you more such videos. Another area where Star Note starts to separate from its competition is its visual customization. Most app just gives us light mode and dark mode. Star Note has multiple complete themes. And I'm talking about total visual overhauls that change the entire personality of this app. There is a clean minimal theme for people who want zero distractions. A warm paper-like theme that makes your screen feel like premium notebook paper. I personally like the Starry Nights Blue the most. It gives the toolbar this retro Mac OS style touch, which I really like. And when I'm in the mood for light mode, I really like this green glow theme that we have here. And to give us even more customization options, we have this option called the Material Center. The Material Center is basically like a store from where you can download new and exciting templates as well as stickers. Have a look for yourself. There are so many templates you could choose from like daily planners, calendars, new page covers, and so much more. If you have the pro subscription of Star Note, then you can access many premium templates from the Material Center included right in your subscription. We'll be talking about the pricing and the giveaway in a moment. But at the start, I mentioned there is a feature that is a game changer. Trust me, we're coming to that. But there are a few more advanced features you should absolutely know about. Firstly, when we open settings, under gesture settings, we can create different shortcuts in order to speed up our note taking process. I have set two finger click to undo, three finger click to redo, and single finger double click when I want to switch through the last tool. This way, when I have to switch the eraser tool, double tapping will automatically open the brush tool and vice versa. This will really help you speed up your workflow. Or maybe you can set it to something else like taking a screenshot. You can toggle reading mode so that the toolbar disappears and you only have the essentials for a focused reading sessions. And when you have multiple notes open, and I really like the Google Chrome tab like layout, which is there for switching between notes. So like I was saying, when you have multiple notes open, you can simply drag and drop your note like this and it will create a split screen for both your notes. This way you can cross reference between your notes. For example, you can have the PDF of your workbook on one side and your notes on the other side. You can even back up your notes both locally as well as on the cloud. You can link your Google Drive account and set up auto backup so that your notes are always in sync. And the cloud backup will save a secure copy of your notes to the cloud provider of your choice like Google Drive or even OneDrive. We even have note encryption. Your sensitive notes are completely encrypted and even if someone gains access to your device, they can't read your protected notes without your specific password. For anyone dealing with confidential information, legal notes and personal journals and stuff like that, this level of security is invaluable. And not to forget, you can export your notes as a PDF, JPEG and share it with others. We even have this little timer tool. This one is kind of helpful. Like I often follow the Pomodoro technique while working, as in I work for 25 minutes and take a 5 minutes break and keep repeating this process. This technique will really help you stay productive and get more work done. Alright, here's the moment you all have been waiting for. This is the feature that made me question if I was still using a note taking app. Star Note has a complete layer system. Let me repeat that, a note taking app with professional grade layers. Similar to the ones you'll find in apps like Photoshop or Procreate and other advanced digital art apps. You can separate your content into different layers, your main notes in one layer, annotations and corrections on another, and diagrams and illustrations on a third. Each layer can be hidden, rearranged, edited, or deleted independently. Think about what this means. You can take your main notes during a lecture and then add detailed annotations, that too without cluttering your original content. For art students or anyone who sketches, this is a game changer. So if you're into digital art, you can create rough sketches on one layer, work on the outlines on layer two, and add colors and shadings on the additional layers. It will make you feel as if you are using a proper app for digital art just by this small yet effective addition. Your digital notes suddenly will become a multi-dimensional
original workspace. If you are a student, you can hide original content like a question on layer 1 and write their answers on layer 2 in order to practice problem solving. This method can become a really powerful tool for memorization as you will be able to use different layers to hide and reveal information in order to test your knowledge. So after all these incredible features was the investment. Standnotes has a freemium model and that's actually fair and reasonable. The free version gives you access to every single feature we have discussed today, all the customization options and the advanced tools. But the only limitation is that you are capped at 10 notebooks only. For casual users or just anyone who wants to just test out this app thoroughly, it's incredibly generous. The pro version costs 5.99 USD and removes the notebook limit while adding access to additional premium themes and priority customer support. Considering all the features that you're getting, this is a must-have app. The main consideration is the platform availability. Standnote is currently Android exclusive, but thankfully they are actively working on the iOS and desktop versions. So now it's time for the giveaway. I'll be sharing 5 promo codes on my Instagram story on 15th of November 2025. So make sure you're following me there. And don't miss the giveaway as it's on a first come first served basis. So if all the 5 codes are used off, you won't be able to use them. So make sure you follow me there and stay updated. But is Starnode the best note taking app of 2025? For Android users who want genuine innovation instead of the same recycled features, for that aspect it's absolutely worth it without a second question. What impressed me most wasn't just the individual features, it's how thoughtfully everything works together. The writing experience rivals premium dedicated writing apps and the features like layers, audio sync and the rest show that Starnode isn't just keeping up with the competition, they are defining the next generation of note taking apps should be like. So if you're tired of note taking apps that you feel like were designed by people who have never actually taken notes, Starnode is your answer. What do you think about this app? Let me know in the comments and also follow me on Instagram so that you don't miss the free promo codes. But now if you'd like to discover more such apps that will help you supercharge your productivity, then click here on this video and over there I've shared the 5 best productivity apps that will change your life. See you there.